So, you want to know more about certifications in cybersecurity? Well, you're in the right place because that is exactly what I'm discussing in today's video. And in this particular video, we'll be going through the CompTIA cybersecurity certifications that I recommend for beginners or new people into cybersecurity. And if you've never heard of CompTIA, well, they are the Computing Technology Industry Association, which has been abbreviated to CompTIA. Now, don't worry, this is a first video as part of a series where I go through different certifications with different vendors I believe are the best for beginners into this space. Now, don't worry if you're new to cybersecurity and you need to know more about that first. I have also made a video on that. So do go check that out in the banner above or on my channel before you dive into this video. So, as mentioned, we're looking into CompTIA in this video and we're specifically going to be looking at the CompTIA Network Plus certification and the CompTIA Security Plus certification. So, as a tech professional or cybersecurity student, odds are that you've probably heard of the CompTIA Network Plus or Security Plus as they're well talked about certifications and courses within this field. Both are well regarded certifications and many people go into cybersecurity ask which one of the two is more useful in the job market. Therefore, I'll be breaking down both of these today. And first up, we're going to be discussing Network Plus. But before I go more into depth on the certification itself, I just want to point out that everybody learns in different ways and everyone has different career goals. Therefore, these differences make it challenging to give you a concrete answer on whether you should earn the Network Plus before the Security Plus or vice versa. Therefore, it's good to know that it's fully context-based in terms of where you want to go in your career. Now, let's get on to talking about Network Plus. So firstly, the most important thing to note is that this is a vendor neutral qualification. And what I mean by that is that it's not focusing on a specific product such as Microsoft. So it will therefore aim to address a wide range of topics and make it a suitable starting point for many different fields. And even though it's often associated with these holding level entry roles, the qualification will end up giving you a lot of skills to complete a variety array of tasks. The content then in this course and certification will then focus on the foundations of networking knowledge. The Network Plus certification will discuss things like networking theory, networking architecture and the best practices around those things. So if you're interested in that type of content, then it is worth diving deeper into the Network Plus certification. And then the exam itself is 90 minutes to complete and is limited to no more than 90 questions. Please remember that this is at correct at the time of recording this video, so make sure that the information you have is up to date. And so then looking at the specific type of questions that you'll get in the exam, it will be composed of multiple choice, drag and drop, and performance-based questions. So when doing your revision and practice, make sure you're always constantly going through the different types of questions that could come up in the exam. So just to give you an example of that, the performance-based questions will require the test taker to solve problems in simulated environments. So make sure you've done enough revision and practice knowing that that's what you're going into. Then a minimum score of 720 out of 900 is needed to pass and the certification will then be valid for three years from when you have achieved it. So now that you know all that core information, how will actually achieving this benefit you? And what will you learn during sitting this certification and revising for the exam? Well, I just mentioned a few topics that are discussed within this course. So let's dive a bit deeper into this so you just understand more of exactly what you'll be going through. First up, in terms of topics covered, we have networking concepts. So that will go on to explain the purpose of various networking concepts and implementing them correctly within an organization, for example. Then we also have infrastructure. So that will be around determining and explaining the proper cabling, device and storage technologies. Then we have network operations, which will go on to use and show you best practices on how you can manage a network, determine policies, and also go on to ensure how you can maintain business continuity. Then after that, we have network security, which will talk about su and summarize the physical security and common types of cyber attacks, along with how to secure the wired and wireless network. 
Then finally, we have network troubleshooting and tools. Now that topic will explain the network troubleshooting procedures and proper tools to support connectivity and performance. So you can see by these listed topics now, a lot of things are covered within the Network Plus certification course. So what types of jobs can you get if you are looking to sit this certification? Well, there is quite a vast array of different types of jobs. So I do recommend checking the link out below, which is in my description for a whole description of jobs. However, I will summarize a few for you now. We have Network Engineer, who if you're not sure what they do, they design and build communication networks, including wide area networks, local area networks, and intranets. Then we also have Junior Network Administrators, who set up a company's computer network, monitor and update the network, and then provide network security, which can also be through educating non-network workers on the proper way to use and maintain computers. So quite an important role, as you can imagine. Then we have network analysts who can analyze network requirements, set up computer networks and configure computer hardware and software for the best network communication. So you can see by the type of topics covered and the jobs available after achieving this certification, it is quite broad, which goes back to the point of it being a vendor neutral qualification. So which is why I've included it as a comparison to Security Plus, depending on where you're going in your career. So hopefully that's been useful. We'll now move on to the next topic and certification, which is CompTIA Security Plus. Now, the Security Plus certification focuses heavily on cybersecurity. However, you can think of the Security Plus certification as a more focused version of the Network Plus certification, which we've just been through. The CompTIA Security Plus qualification is widely considered to be one of the best introductions to the cybersecurity industry. And as mentioned before, this is also a vendor neutral qualification, meaning it is not focusing on one specific vendor such as Microsoft. The CompTIA Security Plus certification will go on to demonstrate a person's competency with core knowledge required of any information security role. It is important to note that the exam does not have any prerequisites for the Security Plus certification meaning you do not have to have had sat any other previous certifications such as the Network Plus before you go for the Security Plus and you also don't need to have a specific amount of time already working within a specific role as there are certifications out there that require you to have worked for a year in industry before you get that certification. So as I've said, no official prerequisites for this. Then looking at the exam format, pretty similar to the Network Plus certification, the exam can be taken online or in person at a designated test centre and there is a maximum of 90 multiple choice or performance based questions with a maximum of 90 minutes given to answer the questions. Then a passing score of 750 is given out of 900. So again, you can see that both these certifications are pretty similar in terms of exam format. And also it's an important point to note that the exam every three years is refreshed. So the CompTIA Security Plus gets updated to meet the needs of the industry and ensure that IT professionals have the skills necessary for today's cybersecurity jobs. The current cybersecurity exam, which is live right now at the time of recording this video, launched on November 12th, 2020, and will therefore be valid for three years from that date. This exam features key differences from the previous version in order to better align with the latest cybersecurity industry techniques and trends. As you can imagine, this is a field that changes daily. So it's very important that these certifications stay up to date, which is another good advantage for this certification not being outdated like many others might well be. Right, so as we did with Network Plus, let's look at what's covered in depth in this certification and what types of jobs you can get out of them. So what topics are there in Security Plus certification? Well, right off the bat, as you can imagine, there is attacks, threats and vulnerabilities, which in a short way is just basically ensuring you are able to identify and analyze any indicators of compromise as an example in a network. So pretty simple. And as you can imagine, as it's quite cybersecurity focused, this is an important topic within this certification. Then we have identity and access management, 
which will ensure you are able to implement IAM controls and account management controls. And then thirdly, we have risk management, which will ensure you're able to identify the importance of policies, plans and procedures which exist in the security field. And then after that, we have cryptography, which will ensure you are able to identify and implement basic concepts of cryptography, which again is a very important topic in the cybersecurity space. Then after that, we have tech and tools, which will ensure you're able to troubleshoot common security issues with software tools, for example. And then finally, we have architecture and design. This will ensure you're able to summarize the concepts behind secure application development and deployment, as well as concepts behind securing clouds and virtualization. So altogether, you can see there's quite an array of topics there, which are all important in their own right in terms of gaining the Security Plus certification. So once you've been through all that and you sit this certification, what types of jobs can you get from going through these? Well, just an ex as an example, I've listed a few here, but as before, I recommend going to the website to seeing them more in detail. So first up, we have security engineer slash analyst. Now looking at the cybersecurity engineer, just to give you an example as to what they do, well, they're responsible for designing and implementing highly secure network solutions, which can protect against potential cybersecurity attacks. However, with an analyst, you can look at a cybersecurity analyst as a trained professional who will specialize in network and IT infrastructure security. So they will thoroughly understand cyber attacks, malware, and the behavior of cyber criminals, and then actively seek to prevent these types of attacks within a network. Both very valuable and very good roles within these fields. We then also have DevOps and software developers, which is a job you can get after receiving this qualification. And then we also have network slash cloud engineer. So as you can see, there's quite a vast array of different types of jobs you can get once receiving this certification. So what should you do? Well, both certifications intersect on some level as you've probably been able to tell. However, that doesn't make them completely interchangeable. Your intended career focus depends on whether you earn the Network Plus before the Security Plus or vice versa, as I mentioned at the start. So it's good to always look at where you intend to be long term in terms of which certifications or route you should go down. For instance, a career in cybersecurity may require the Security Plus certification. So you couldn't then just achieve the Network Plus, even though that may be a good starting point you may then be required to also go for the Security Plus certification. However, as a cyber professional, understanding how to implement and manage a network is very desirable skill. So it is always good to have that base level, which is why I do say to cyber professionals not to skip a certain certification just because you think that you only need one of them. That base knowledge may always be important for you having a better understanding in this space. So overall, you can see it's mainly down to your career path and the skills you want to gain for your future career. Now, if that's been useful for you, do check out my Instagram because I have more information on there. And do please leave a like down below as it massively helps out the video and it tells me that you guys are enjoying. Do leave a comment to let me know if you want to know more about certifications or if you want me to continue doing cybersecurity content.